Hello guys, good morning and happy new year to you all and uh, we have the, some project today so now uh, <coughs> they're giving me to do this one to change the AVR from these are to our uh, this is a DR1 AVR so this is from Mikalti and uh, we're going to uh, replace that one and we are going to reward for that because the customer needs is they want it the DR rather than the DSR that is the standard EVR so this one we can select from single sen sensing and to 3P sensing so now we're going to do the 3P sensing for this one so let's go there and do the wiring and we just prepare for our uh, wiring connections for this one as of now <coughs> I will also show you the wiring connections for this one so you have also the references but don't worry i will add it that one in the video so you can see also how we're going to do the wiring for this okay so let's go outside so we can start our project to be done okay <laughs> So guys, we are here to this generator. This generators uh, we're going to replace the AVR, and I will show you the AVR we're going to uh, change from DSR to uh, DR1. So I will show you the AVR. It's over here. So this is the AVR installed in this alternator. This is make Kalti alternator, and <coughs> here is the connections from inside so this one here is from our exciter this is black and yellow and this is from our sensing side so this alternator have uh, auxiliary uh, winding so this is the two red is from our auxiliary okay so the rest for that is our sensing so now we're going to replace this one to dr1 supposedly this is uh, these are if we are okay so let's start to remove and prepare our uh, wiring and the tools for that so by the way I will show you also the module and uh, this is a 73 uh, 20 and now I will show you also what is the options inside so you are uh, see what is we have here so this one we have the shunt trip and we have the uh, battery charger and the rest for that is for your connections so inside of this breaker we have the sun trip installed this side so that is the, the solenoid which can give you the trip point of your breaker so that is commanded from your uh, module so now let's start to remove the connections just pull it out all the wire from the pin and just always remind while doing that take all the diagrams for that and always follow the diagram for installation back so so guys i show you our neutral connections based on our diagram so i joined this is the neutral this is the black color and this is number uh, four so this is number four so i just jump it for our number four so this is connected to our number 11 from our AVR and it's jump it to our 17 and 22 because uh, now I'm using the sensing for us uh, uh, this is 150 to 300 because our nominal voltage is uh, 415 so this is belong to the to that range 
so I'm using the sensing for 150 to 300 range so this is our neutral connections so I prepare also for our three piece connections this so this is our three wire that I'm going to connect to our line so I will also connect to our AVR so this is our preparations for the three piece sensing here is our connections from our sensing line so we're going to connect it from 5 and 14 as you can see and from 19 so that is your line sensing so you are going to connect it from here so this uh, three cable from here is you are going to connect it from the from your line one line two and line three so i will show you that after when i finish connecting together okay so now based to our diagram that the auxiliary winding so here is the auxiliary winding it should be connected to number so our connections from our auxiliary winding it should be from your uh, this is number three and going to number 12 this is number 12 so you can see the wire is red to red so that is 3 and 12 okay and the rest for that is for your this is the yellow and black is for your excited so exciter so this should be connected from your exciter point so this is our exciter points here is our one and two okay so so from here our blue color is our negative so our negative is number one so i'm going to connect it from our number one connections so it's over here so the yellow one is our positive so let's connect it according to our diagram so that is number two as you can see i connected to number two so that is our positive for our exciter connections so here is our final connections guys so now it is connected to our line so now we're done and ready for our testing so we're going to start this generator and let's see what is the voltage